nothing but the horizon. Enjoy. Hey, sailor. Still at your post. Anything to report? An island, maybe? Not yet. But it's so beautiful. The colors keep changing, and I've seen huge fishes. Maybe a dolphin. That's great. Mind spending some time with your old sister? <laughs> You're not old. Say, how does Sophia know the way to Lacuna? Tools, probably. There might be some around. Or we can ask her. Yes! Hi. It's a great shield. It does its job. Saved my life often enough. I like the bird on it. It's a griffin. Half lion, half eagle. So you're half right. It was my coat of arms. Courage and cunning, that's me. Our coat of arms is a tree. Well, that's a good crest, too. Strength, stability, wisdom. That's all us. Come on, Hugo. He's funny. He looks like a bear. Hey. Hey. The terrible siblings of the storm. It looks like someone has a question. How do you know the way to Lacuna? The sea is so big. Easy. Sirens. They know all the routes. What? Where are they? Can I see one? <laughs> They're pretty shy, you know. That's why I also use tools and maps. It's very technical, but I'm clever, so... Oh, yes. Sirens are easier. Do you mind if we take a look at some of your tools, Sophia? No, but don't break them, or I throw you overboard. <laughs> I'm not joking. Down to the hold. Oh, is this really all hers? I suppose so. Unless she stole from her crew. Now this will interest you. Oh, what is it? It's an astrolabe. Father told me once that you use it to find your way by the stars. Oh. Can we try it now? Maybe at night. We'll see. Hey, look, a compass. Can I hold it? Yes, but be careful. It's heavy. That needle always shows where north is. He moves when I move. Well, just stop moving then. Here, the island is in the south, right? Right where we're heading. Can I keep it to play? Yes, but don't break it, unless you want to face Sophia. Climb up. All right. Hugo and Amicia on deck. Yes, we're here. We know. Listen all, I'm Captain Darun, and I say we're going south. The compass says so. So you all listen to the compass. Our great leader, the compass. <laughs> It survived the fire. Yes, it would take more than that. It survived Spain, Burgundy, Guienne. Well, barely that time. That's where it broke? Yes. The only time it failed to protect. You? No. Someone I shared my coat of arms with. Oh, I, I see. It's a sad memory to keep then. Some memories don't want to be let go of, child. I think I know what you mean. Keep looking out for your brother. It will save you. He already is. Hey, you two! The sail's pulling port side. I need a hand. Go pull the rope on the other side. I'll give you some slack on mine. Understood.
right. Honor? Me too. Well done. It must be great to pilot this thing. It's worth all the other troubles. Come on, take it. Oh, uh... <laughs> go on. You won't crash into anything. <sighs> so? It's amazing. It's the sea you feel. It's freedom. Thank you... for taking us. Thank God, no. I'm usually not so kind. Oh. He's a bastard, I know. He has reasons to be deep scars. Not that it excuses- Amicia! Amicia! Oh, duty calls. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Thank you. Amicia, come! Look! There's something there! That's it! Lacuna! It's exactly like in my dreams! Thank you! Whatever's there, we'll find it together. Island explorers. Yes! You know... It's not important if I die. What? What are you talking about? The Magister Vaudan told me I'm going to die. God, no, Hugo, I'm so sorry. It won't happen. Don't be sad. I'm happy to be here. This boat is the best, and I like Sophia. And Anna, even if you don't like him. Sorry. Just wanted to say we'll be preparing to make land soon. I'll need your help. Just come see me when you're ready. Yes, sure. I'm happy to be here with you.
Fix a few things here and I'll join you later. Fine. We'll take a tour while it's still light and find a place to sleep. Sounds good. By the way, this land is under the Count's law. Be nice. See? I see. for you, my child. We're so honored by your presence. Thank you. Looks like we have a new king. Good King Hugo. That's right. During the brighter days, all children are kings. Just like the child of embers who watches over our island. Your presence is a blessing because you are the future, just like him. For he'll deliver all of us from the darkness. Please, enjoy the festivities. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow. That's a pretty good start, no? I wonder what the church would think of this. They seem successful. Pray that we're successful. Well, come on, your majesty. <laughs> We're in my dream, Amicia. It's the most beautiful place I've seen. It's very beautiful, yes. But now we need to find whatever called you here. Welcome! The market is just up the street. Plenty for you to see. Let's go, quick! Yes. Hey, wait, wait. So, I heard of this dream and, well, I'd like to help. But first, I must know what you're searching for. All right. So it's... Uh, it's a bit strange, but... Well... Go on, Hugo. Yes! In my dream, I woke up on the beach and I was sick and scared. But a big bird came and I followed him. I thought I was dying. But the bird showed me water that healed me. And there was a huge tree, too. And that's where I wake up each time. Good. So, bird, tree, and water. <laughs> Could be anywhere. But I guess it's a start. We can ask at the market. Come on. So many colors and perfumes. Amicia, can we ask people about my dream? Uh, you shouldn't tell them that it's a dream. And don't ask too many people. You never know. Yes, I'll ask. Hello, sir. Hello. What can I do for you? Need any spices? Maybe later. We've been told of a pond of water with healing properties. Do you know where it is? Not a clue. But there are many ways to be blessed during the brighter days. Oh, good to know. Is there a big bird on this island? <laughs> There's a few here and there. Maybe you'll see them. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. No pond. Maybe birds. <laughs> yes! Straight from our mother's garden. Come see my flowers! Perfect for the festivities! <laughs> Roasted pork's ready! Who wants some? <laughs> Bright fabric! Perfect to wear for the brighter days! Everything you need for your table. Hello. Hello there. Would you know of a beach where we could find special birds? 
This is an island, so the birds are mostly seagulls. Not a bird much dreamed of, I'd wager. <laughs> They're bloody thieves, I tell you. It's not a seagull. Let's go. Hey. Thank you, sir. May your day be bright. <laughs> Yours too. He knows nothing. <laughs> well, he knows about seagulls. Be patient, Hugo. Hello, sir. Would you... Is there a magic pond here? With birds and trees? <sighs> I'm not from here, you know. I just come for the market. Maybe you have a bird? No. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Anytime. You're about as subtle as you are tall. What? Let's see the rest. All right, let's try and ask someone here. Good work with the decorations, everyone. Oh, and if you still want to help, we need a hand with tonight's feast. Good afternoon. Hello. We've just arrived, and we heard about a, a beach with a pond not too far. Hmm, that's very specific. Anyone? Sorry, I really don't know. Me neither. There's also a big tree. <laughs> well, we have lots of big trees. You'll find some up on the plateau. Thank you anyway. Of course. Why don't they know? Dreams are tales of the soul, Pipsqueak. Not of this world. We'll ask again. and musicians are now in place. The festivities are about to begin. Come. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. Let's go. Oh, Amicia, can we go too? Sure, sounds nice. Should we be worried about the Count's army here? They look pretty quiet. Mm, different captain, different men, different land. Don't think so. Good. I hope there will be a dragon man. But I'd like to see a dragon man too. All this wasn't in my dream, but I love this place. It's all so dreamlike, yes. Islands can be nice little havens, but they're fragile ones. Oh, don't get gloomy. Chance! They're here. They must be about to start. Please, stick to the rhythm, all right, Lucy? No improvisation. I sing for the Child of Embers, and he needs energy! But not that much. All right, focus, please. We're going soon. Hurry up! Last year was so great. You, you think they'll do better? I know they've been rehearsing for months. I hope they'll cross the main square once again. It's the best moment. Who's this Child of Embers, anyway? A local deity, obviously. It's St. John's Week on the continent, the summer solstice. So it's probably all about fertility and prosperity. Is he magical? He's a god. Pagan one. Peaceful one. Yes. I see that. You know how to dance this, Arno? <laughs> Do I look like it? Oh, you never know. I'd like to see you dance. <laughs> You're 30 years too late, lad. I'll imagine it then. The walk of devotion has begun. The procession is coming. Let me see you quick. Blessed be the child of embers. Blessed be the <laughs> We just 
just in time. Wow! Say, would you like to bless them with flowers? I just threw some at them. That's it? Like this? Blessed be the child! Wait! I'll bless the dancers too! You go! Blessed be everyone! <laughs> oh, Lord. It's done! Thank you! Sorry about that. Oh, don't be! He was true to his heart. Now they're blessed for many, many years. You're a savage, Shorty. Let's follow the parade! Sure. Let's go wreak havoc somewhere else. I like blessing people. I really wonder why. They're up there! Quick, quick! Calm down. We'll catch up with them. She should have been here already. Um, sorry, sire. All right. Yes. You all know me. I'm not a man of words. Emily, your priestess, she will be here soon. She will open these brighter days with her beautiful words. The words of a mother. The mother of the child of embers. The child who protects what? his sacred land. It's him. From Come. the rats of disease and war. The rats? No, wait. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. It's because it's the Count Amicia. We had a deal. Call your rats. Wait, what? That was your deal? You saved me so he would murder the Count for you? You survived. That comes with a price. No. You don't take advantage of a child and call it a deal, Anna. We came all this way for him. You won't ruin that. Fuck it. I don't need you. No. Oh, no. I knew it. I won't miss this time. I'll take care of him. Catch the girl. No. No. This is not our fight. Run. <laughs> People, Hugo. Nothing ever stays nice. It always turns bad. Always. Why? We're going back. It's too late. No. Things aren't always nice, but you can change them. How? The way we always do. We fight. We stop Arno before he does more damage. We save your dream. We need a way back, a discreet one if possible. What if Arno is dead? Or he killed the Count? We'll improvise, remember. Are we good at this? We bloody are. Up! Oh, we're in a stable, there has to be something. By the way, 
Why did Arno attack the Count? He said that it's because of the Count that his shield is broken. Bring back their eyes! 
Listen. Sword noises. Yes, yes, quick. They're here. The Count's alive. Can you stop him? Shut up! up. <sighs> what do we do? So this is his army? A girl and a boy? No, wait! Victor, stop! Emily. Don't get carried away. She helped. They're not a threat. Of course, my love. I'll kill you, bitch, Count! I'll teach you what it is to lose what you care for! You've always been a disgrace to the knighthood, Arno. And you've been a pain in my ass for too Are you long. All right. Lock him up. I'll handle that later. So where do you know this beast from? We shared a boat and had time to chat on the way, but I didn't know he was after you, sire. Now, if you're not bandits, who are you? Amicia. And this is Hugo, my brother. He's a bit afraid. Well, don't be. There was more fright than danger. These days are dedicated to life and peace. Would you agree to be our guests for dinner? Are you sure? I mean... Sure. Emily's right. You helped, you deserve it. Come with us. Hugo, come. So, how do you like our terrace? This is really your house. <laughs> this is home. It's incredible. Come, come inside. Oh, it's big. It is, and it's only a small part of the palace. Oh, do you fancy some dates before we show you to your room? Dates? What is it? A fruit, Hugo. Can I? Come on. Sure, Your Grace. Please go easy, Hugo. Yes. I know this all looks pretty formal, but please. Here I'm not Your Grace. I am the mother. I am myself, so be yourself. Yes. During the brighter days, all the people of Lacuna are one. United around the Child of Embers. So? I love it! Ha-ha! <laughs> a bon vivant! Be careful, they're very rich. So where are you from? Guyenne. We fled the war and the plague. We came here hoping for... a better life. And we heard of this island. You were right to come here. Let's keep going. You must be tired after this... adventure. It's amazing! I know. Can't wait to see our room. Agnes, go get a room ready for two, please. Certainly, Mother. She's her mummy. No, it's symbolic. And these are our gardens. My favorite part. Splendid. Finally, they clean to the basins. Yes, aren't they nice? You're quite young for such a long trip. Where are your parents? Mummy is somewhere, but Dad was killed. By who? How? Uh, Hugo. Victor, don't be so military. <laughs> you know me. Come next to me, Hugo. Yes. You see those plants? Most of them are not from here, but we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great. Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just like them, you know. We drink water. <laughs> and we need a good soil, love and care. This land is open to you if you wish to keep growing here. But of course, the big sister will decide. 
Right, Amicia? Thank you so much. Those were kind and true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, my Come, love. Hugo. The land here is strong. The child of embers breathes life into it. We created the brighter days to celebrate him. In the hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us, his mother and father. And to the people. We pray to him, not as a god, but as our long sleeping child. We love and revere him to revive his flame. Would you pray with me? You can do it in your own way. Sure. Hugo? I'll pray to the bird. A humble flame to light his night. And may he rise, a sun, a sun, so bright. So bright. So bright. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shall we go? Uh, sorry, mother. Could we take some time to pray for our father? Hugo? Yes. Of course. I understand. I'll wait for you. Come when it is done. Dear father. Hugo, is it really your bird? Take a good look at it. Oh, yes. I feel it. It has the same beak. And I just know it. Good. Very good. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Yes. The new robes look wonderful. It will be perfect. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we go? Sure. I must say, we appreciate that you paid homage to the child so willingly. Every child bears the future of the world. One child can change everything. That is very true. Here it is. Go on. This is too much. Nonsense. You're our guests. There's a good dinner being cooked. A real dinner, Amicia! Shh! Oh, we'll need to get you some new clothes. It looks like you had a long journey. Are you going to kill Arno? Sugar. He will be judged. All those who do bad things are. And he did a lot. But you will have the chance to testify if you wish to do so. But enough of that. We'll leave you to rest. Tomorrow, feel free to enjoy Lacuna. Brighter days are the best time for it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My lady. Beds are great. Try jumping on them.